写今日咩环境啊？两年今日点啊？五千，五千冇话八百，六千，八千块。Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is J. Edgar Hoover, and this is my review of Mr. and Mrs. Gambler. It's no secret that I am, literally and figuratively, the biggest Wong Jing fan in the world. He is the Ronald McDonald of Hong Kong cinema. Inexpensive, fast, and not always healthy. But you have to admit it, even the worst fast food is not without its charms. Just ask Harriet Young. Like fast food, Wong Jing is also consistent and reliable. And when you're in the mood for it, it's delicious. Mr. and Mrs. Gambler is a very, very funny movie, as well as a pretty good film. It's the story of two degenerate gamblers who fall in love, played by Fiona Sit and Chapman Toe. Chapman Toe is the five-card stud, even though he's only holding four cards. They get married, they promise to give up gambling, and Chapman Toe's character becomes one of the biggest movie stars in the world, even though he looks like this. Naturally, love and life are not easy or simple, and their love is put into peril by their own and by other people's actions. Hardly new ground, and it's not like it's a well-sketched backdrop. But speaking of which, the utterly crap faux Hollywood sign that's clumsily CGI'd into an obviously Hong Kong background deserves the Christina Aguilera Award for cheap trash that nevertheless entertains. But this framework makes it possible to simply string together a nearly constant barrage of jokes, many of them surprisingly profane, and manages to capture the kind of brisk, reckless humor and entertainment Wong Jing was once famous for. I was shocked at how often I was laughing out loud, and that was just reading the subtitles or catching the occasional Cantonese joke. The theater, which was surprisingly full for opening night, roared with laughter almost all the time. It was as if I was sitting in a cinema circa 1988 or something. God of gamblers? More like God of donuts. Chapman Toe's comic chops are very well honed, and he's in top form here. He hits all the right notes and manages to be thoroughly entertaining. I'm not usually a big fan of Fiona Sit, but I have to admit, she does well here. I attribute it in no small part to her being cast in a role for which she seems suited. A very typical local woman who has her good and bad points. Thankfully, she never descends into wannabe-a-teenager idiocy, and when she does indulge in screeching, it's at least called for. Like when she saw this get-up. I can't believe I actually said Fiona's screeching was called for, but it is. Which is more than you can say for Harriet Young. She's never called for. Well, except for dinner. Philip M. does remarkably well in a supporting role. He manages to lend some of the dramatic weight to the film, being serious and believable, but also entertaining. The whole cast does a great job, and everyone gets at least one moment to shine, or at least make people laugh. The only time Mr. and Mrs. Gambler slows down, and or breaks down, is when the film over-aspires to serious drama. Wong's reach sometimes exceeds his grasp. Real drama is never going to be Wong Jing's strong suit. There's no 13 orphans in filmmaking. When you spend most of your movie showing us characters who are hilariously stupid, inept, or otherwise amusing, it's a tough sell to get us to care about them or take them seriously. Even when I make this face? Thankfully, this doesn't happen very often, and comedy returns quickly enough. Mr. and Mrs. Gambler wasn't ever going to be film of the year, but it's one of Wong Jing's strongest movies in years, and it's very, very, very much worth seeing. And of course, the way that I want you to see it is by buying it. Remember, if we don't support the movies that deserve it, then we get the movies that we deserve. Don't download this movie. Pay for a disc. Get a Blu-ray. Get a DVD. There are links in the description where you can buy this movie so you don't download it. If you enjoyed this review, please leave me a comment. And if you didn't enjoy the review, leave me a comment anyway. If you really like my reviews, I would be very grateful for a subscription. It lets me know that people are actually listening to this idiocy that rolls out of my head.